Hey, what's up guys? It's Chipper here and today we're delving into the realm of crosshairs and in this video I'll teach you the secret to getting the perfect crosshair that will not only improve your taps and sprays But also you'll hit a new level of skill that you never thought was possible global elite easy peasy Thanks to a good crosshair by the way Make sure to post your crosshair codes in the comments down below so I can try some of them out on my twitch streams and let's get started so crosshairs are a big part of Counter-Strike that can help you either hit shots easier or you can just be a real gamer and use a completely ridiculous one. And thanks to the fact that the game has almost infinite customization, you can really do anything you want. First, you need to find the type of crosshair that works best for you based on your skill level and personal preference. And the best way to find one is just to try different crosshairs for a few days, save the codes in like a notepad thing, and then switch to another one and then repeat until you find exactly what you play best with. There are five different types of crosshairs in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Default, which is new to CSGO, which is essentially a fancy crosshair that turns red when you aim at the enemy, but it takes time to change, so it's not the most useful thing in actual matches. Default Static, which kind of takes the idea of the default crosshair, but makes it static where it always stays exactly how you want it to. But the big downside is the lack of being able to change the color and only having the option to change the gap in the menus. Like all those other options that you wish you had? Nope, they're not even there. Classic is a more recognizable crosshair where the middle part is static, but depending on movement and how accurate you're gonna be, it has lines on the outside that can either expand or contract, which for newer players can be especially helpful, but on the other side of the coin, it can also be way more distracting. Classic Dynamic was created by a mad scientist in his laboratory to create the least helpful crosshair possible, where the entire thing moves as you move. I mean, sure, when you're standing still, it looks like a static crosshair, but the second you move or shoot, it just goes all over the place. And finding the exact middle is pretty much the same as not having a crosshair at all. However, when you add a center dot to this, it actually makes the crosshair infinitely more practical, where it can actually be good for tapping, but it can also be especially good for spraying, where you can just use the top part of the crosshair to line the enemy up. So definitely really good for newer players. And last but not least is Classic Static, which is by far the most popular type of crosshair in the game due to the fact that it stays in the exact same place, hence the term static. It's not electric, but I mean, for CS2, that would be pretty interesting. <laughs> most CS pros use Classic Static for the reliability, straight up. There's also the T-shaped crosshairs, which are kind of like regular crosshairs, except they're just a T. They're, well, they're an uppercase T versus a lowercase T. For some people, it's fine, but personally, I'm not a big fan. And the last type of crosshair that people use is dot crosshairs, which is basically a normal static crosshair with only the dot in the middle. And some people say that these are the best for going for one taps, but personally, I find them to be really difficult to play with, especially if you have to spray. But if you try dot crosshair and it works best for you, then awesome. So how do crosshairs even work? So it's a representation of the middle of your screen so you can line up your shot and you can use them in a variety of different ways from having a dot that you can use to put over the enemies or to having a gap where you can actually put the enemy's head inside the crosshair. So it just depends what you prefer, like what kind of speaks to your brain in a more reliable way. Let's get into colors now because the color of your crosshair does matter. So green and blue are pretty much generally some of the most popular colors because on most maps, they do a pretty good job of standing out. And of course, I mean, there are some scenarios where they aren't perfect, but I mean, they're very popular and they do look really nice. Yellow crosshairs with a slight outline though, stand out a little bit more and can work for most players because it kind of contrasts well with most of the maps, unless you're playing like, I don't know, Mirage or something and staring at like a yellow wall. In most scenarios, they're usually pretty good. But red crosshairs are the most over the top and the easiest to see in general. But for a lot of people, they can be a little bit more fatiguing to look at because it's just such a strong color. <laughs> You also see people out there with white crosshairs and generally they aren't the best, but with a slight outline, you can pretty much use them in any scenario. It all comes down to whatever works best for you, straight up. I mean, pretty much you wanna use a color that makes your crosshair stand out from the background in every scenario, so you don't lose track of it under pressure that can lead to missing shots or generally awkward situations, cause that happens a lot. Now stock crosshair placement because it's a big factor to keep in mind. With a bad crosshair, it's not possible. But generally with crosshair placement, you want to aim at angles that you think the enemy could be when holding an angle or even peeking. And this can make it much easier to make small micro corrections to win the gunfight as fast as possible. With bad or no crosshair placement, you have to rely on your ability to flick from wherever it is you're looking at to where the enemy's head is, which puts you at a massive disadvantage. It might take you like 400 milliseconds, but while the enemy can do it in like 250. So right there, you're already lost. The gunfights ended before it already began. This is specifically what classic static crosshairs do best. 
So what happens when you play without a crosshair? Well, it mostly depends on your skill level and experience in the game. Like if you're a main opper and already know where the middle of the screen is, like it's not going to affect you as much, but I tried it out and this is what happened. Held. Okay, center of the screen should be right around there. Ah! Oh no, this is like the worst kind of lobby <laughs> to have no crosshair. Ah! Like it's all about just adapting and figuring out like where the exact center of the screen is. Yep, by the way, I still have it equipped. Got him. To be honest, spraying is like the only thing I can really do. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's... Got him. And then there's this guy. And then there's this guy just hiding in the corner. Okay, bot Hank. Damn, I didn't realize this was Breaking Bad the video game, dude. What? <laughs> I don't know, Walt. You've been seeming sus lately. <laughs> it's almost like we have an imposter among us. Don't lie to me, Walt. You sussy baka. <laughs> And then third guy, wait, a guy spawned right there. Got him. Okay. I haven't been able to hit a single one tap yet this game. In CSGO specifically, if you're playing without a crosshair, you are not in for a good time. So of course you can use a crosshair like this, but it's completely impractical because I mean, sure, it's a challenge, I guess, but if you're holding literally any angle, like for example, if I'm just holding this angle right here, you're not really gonna see the enemy until it's too late. So yeah, I don't know why I made this. This thing is a monstrosity. I mean, pretty much all I did was just crank everything all the way up. But if you want something a little bit more practical, classic static, of course, pretty much like anywhere around one or just a little bit higher can be really, really good. Obviously the dot in the middle is, it's purely personal preference. Like if you you want to aim the dot at the enemy then that's totally fine but if you prefer to have a gap where you have a little bit more vision in the center of your crosshair you can just turn that off and then the length you want to find something a little bit reasonable and then for the gap now obviously you could either have no gap but that can make it tricky to see enemies in certain situations so i like to have just enough of a gap to where the enemy's head will fill up pretty much the center of the crosshair no matter what something like this works pretty well for the outline i don't like having it up all the way because it makes the crosshair a little bit too big so i like to go somewhere in the middle and then as for the color i like to do um well personally i mean you can do any color you want but for me i just like i get rid of all the red and i only have green and blue which kind of gives you this teal looking vibe to it uh too much of a gap that's why you just want to play around with it and just find out like what works for you because there we go something like that like that's a little bit better because now it works with crosshair placement where i can just aim the crosshair wherever i think the enemy is going to be if an enemy runs into my crosshair i can just aim for the center of the crosshair shoot and boom boom easy peasy there's no right or wrong crosshair it all really comes down to what you like like your personal preferences like what works best for you and it's something that you kind of have to discover for yourself because depending on your resolution depending on your settings depending on your monitor obviously and also depending on your eyes this crosshair might not necessarily work for you so you might have to make a few adjustments so that's everything you need to know about csgo crosshairs if the video was helpful drop a like let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i do read every single one of them subscribe with the bell and don't miss out on future videos and join the discord server for events and giveaways for active members. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's Turbo and I'm out. Peace.